If you just finished watching the card demonstration about co-registration, welcome back. Now we're going to show you how to perform co-registration in SPM. First of all, select co-register from the GUI. Within this, select new co-reg estimate and re-slice and double click on it to spider down to the options. First of all, supply a reference image. In this case, we're going to supply the average epi image output from the realignment procedure as our reference image. This is the image that remains stationary. So select mean AR01.NII. Secondly, select the source image. This is the image that's going to be moved around to be in alignment with the reference image. Click on Specify Files and select your anatomical image. Now make sure that you've specified the origin of the anatomical image to be the anterior commissure. This will make the co-registration and normalization steps both much more accurate. If you haven't done so already, check out the tutorial about how to do that. So select anat.nii. And then for other images, these are the images that we're going to apply the warps to. In other words, these are images that are going to remain in alignment with the source image, and the same transformations will be applied to those images as they were to the source image. Click on Specify Files, and then select your RAR01, whatever the prefix was after you realigned your files. So I'm going to do this, and then specify all of the frames, and select all of them. If you want more accurate co-registration, you can select a higher degree of interpolation. So instead of trilinear, you can select a higher order spline. This is more accurate, but it requires more time. If you have a more powerful computer, then feel free to go ahead and do that. All the other defaults are fine, and once you're done, click Run. This step doesn't take very long. And once it's done, you'll see an output image of the co-registration between your mean epi and your anatomical image. In other words, the reference image and the source image. Once co-registration is finished, you'll see these two images side by side, the anatomical image and your mean epi image. It's important to click around on the boundaries to make sure that the boundaries roughly align. In other words, to make sure that a good co-registration was performed. What you should also do is check the alignment of the interior structures, most noticeably the ventricles. It's more important that these internal structures are in alignment than the actual edges on the outside of the brain.